Welcome to our Plant to Plate journey learning video. I'm Brendan Patterson, project manager at Focus on Family, and we're working in partnership with the Calf Lane Kitchen in Milburn and the Cornfield Project to show you that speciality salads don't grow on the shelves in supermarkets. Here at the Cornfield we have community allotments and we use these to grow organic and healthy produce for use in the local community cafe. To begin this process we have to plant and harvest the food here at the cornfield so we've enlisted the help of two very special local horticulturalists Kieran and Joe Mulholland who are going to show you how we go about the food process preparation. Hello welcome to this clip for the cornfield project. Today I'm going to show you how to grow lettuce to put in your sandwich. Right now I'm going to show you how to go from seeds to seedlings. So we're going to start with our seed. So we can either sow this into containers or we can sow it directly into the soil. Um, I'm going to be using a small pot today but you can use any container you like and the reason I'm using a small pot is I only want to grow a few lettuce at a time and I'm going to be filling the pots with peat free compost. I'm going to fill this pot with compost nearly up to the top and then I use another pot just to firm down the compost and here's one I've done earlier full of compost. So I'm going to take a just a few seeds out of the packet and they're very small but we only need a few and then I'm going to just carefully just sprinkle them over the pot like that just to evenly cover if they're not too close together. So now I'm going to cover over the seeds and the reason for that is so that the seeds can germinate in nice moist dark conditions. I'm using vermiculite here but you can use um, sieve compost or sand, anything you have really just to put a thin layer over the top. So here's a handy tip for um, watering your seeds. So I've got a container here with a little bit of water in and just put the pots in and they can take the water up from below and then you don't have to water overhead and dislodge the seeds. And if you want you can put a little label on your pots just to remember what you sowed in them. So now I'm going to prick these out, as we call it, um, and they're going to go into slightly bigger pots so that they have more room. So now I'm going to carefully um, knock the seedlings out of the pot. There we are. It's really important just to hold the um, lettuce by the leaves, not by the roots, because they're very easily broken. So just gently tease away the seedlings there. And you can fill up the pot first and put them in, but with these little newspaper pots I find it easier just to pop it in and then fill it gently up with compost, like so, and then just firm it in with your fingers. And there's one done. So here's some I did earlier and these are really ready now to go into the ground. This is a few weeks later and if you're wondering what the white stuff is, it's actually eggshells, broken up eggshells to try and stop the slugs eating the lettuce before we get to them. So the lettuce that I've grown in the paper pots can go straight into the ground because the roots will go through but if you have a pot then you have to take the plant out of the pot. So I'm going to dig a hole deep enough for the pot. In and then I want to firm the soil nicely round it and I'm planting these about a hand span apart which is about 20 centimetres so make a hole for another one pop that in and firm round and then the next thing is we'll have to water these in really well I'm now going to give these lettuce plants a thorough watering So about eight weeks later, depending on the time of year, you should have lettuce ready for harvest. So now we have our lettuce. Before we use it, we have to make sure we wash it thoroughly. And also we must always wash our hands after we've been in the garden. So when you're washing the lettuce, make sure you remove all the soil and all the little beasties in there so check each leaf as you go you can drain them off so now we have 
have our lettuce ready for our sandwich. Once our food is ready for harvest, we take it on the short journey from the cornfield to the calf lane kitchen in Milburn. Here the food is prepared by our fully qualified chefs who use the organic produce to make a whole range of delicious soups, salads, sandwiches and side dishes for the wide range of lunches and dinners on offer. Here's Ian in our calf lane kitchen. Ian is one of our chefs and part of his job is to take our organic produce and use it for the daily recipes. Ian is going to show you how to use the lettuce we grew earlier as part of a tasty and nutritious salad. As well as the growing of the organic food and the preparation in the kitchens, it's very important that the end customer feels valued and has the best possible experience. Friendliness, manners and ensuring the customer is totally satisfied with their dining event is always absolutely paramount. And the vital roles of growing and harvesting, food preparation and customer service. These are all things that together help to successfully make up our plant to plate journey.